Good morning. On this Memorial Day, we, we gather uh, together in prayer and worship, and we, we commemorate and remember uh, the great sacrifice that so many men and women have given uh, over the years uh, to protect our freedoms and liberties in our nation. And so as we begin today, we do so in a spirit of prayer. We ask that God may reward them for their faithfulness and for their sacrifice. As we begin our Mass this morning, we, we will begin with our entrance hymn number 496, if you have a hymnal at home, uh, Faith of Our Fathers, number 496. Faith of our fathers living still, in spite of dungeon, fire, and sword, Oh, how our hearts beat high with joy whene'er we hear that glorious word. Faith of our fathers, holy faith, we will be true to thee till death. Faith of our fathers, we will strive to win all nations unto thee, and through the truth that comes from God, we shall then be truly free. Faith of our fathers, holy faith, we will be true to thee till death. Faith of our fathers, we will love both friend and foe in all our strife and preach thee to as love knows how by kindly words and virtuous life faith of our fathers holy faith we will be true to thee till death In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. As I mentioned, today we uh, come together to commemorate Memorial Day, uh, a day in which uh, we, we remember the sacrifices given by so many men and women throughout the years uh, in, various, in times of war and in times of peace. Uh, we enjoy many of the, and all of the liberties that we do today in our country, uh, due to uh, their faithfulness uh, to us, to generations to come. And it is our duty, as, as we look forward to the future, uh, to continue to protect those freedoms uh, each and every day. As we prepare ourselves now to enter into these sacred mysteries, let us begin by calling to mind our sins, as we ask God for his pardon and mercy. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who arrange all things according to a wonderful design. Graciously receive the prayers we pour out to you for our country, that through the wisdom of its leaders and the integrity of its citizens, harmony and justice may be assured, and lasting prosperity come with peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen.
a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. While Apollos was in Corinth, Paul traveled through the interior of the country and down to Ephesus, where he found some disciples. He said to them, Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you became believers? They answered him, We have never even heard that there is a Holy Spirit. He said, How were you baptized? They replied, With the baptism of John. Paul then said, John baptized with the baptism of repentance, telling the people to believe in the one who was to come after him, that is, in Jesus. When they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. And when Paul laid his hands on them, the Holy Spirit came upon them, and they spoke in tongues and prophesied. Altogether, there were about twelve men. He entered the synagogue and for three months debated boldly with persuasive arguments about the kingdom of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. God arises, his enemies are scattered, and those who hate him flee before him. As smoke is driven away, so are they driven, as wax melts before the fire. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. But the just rejoice and exult before God. They are glad and rejoice. Sing to God, chant praise to his name, whose name is the Lord. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. The father of orphans and the defender of widows is God in his holy dwelling. God gives a home to the forsaken. He leads forth prisoners to prosperity. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. If then you are raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. The disciples said to Jesus, now you are talking plainly, and not in any figure of speech. Now we realize that you know everything, and that you do not need to have anyone question you. Because of this, we believe that you came from God. Jesus answered them, Do you believe now? Behold, the hour is coming and has arrived, when each of you will be scattered to his own home, and you will leave me alone. But I am not alone, because the Father is with me. I have told you this so that you might have peace in me. In the world you will have trouble, but take courage. I have conquered the world. The Gospel of the Lord. And praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. And today, our nation takes a day to remember uh, in a special way, those who have fallen in times of war, men and women who, who fought bravely for our country and for our freedoms. And today, too, we also pray for others as well. We, we pray for ourselves, we pray for our families and our friends who enjoy these freedoms daily, that we may never take them for granted. We pray in the only spirit of, of hope that gives us true peace. That is, we pray in Jesus Christ. It's a prayer that we raise in common because of our faith in him. And certainly when, when we think about uh, this day, you, one of our foremost prayers is, is we pray for the end to all wars, you know, all conflicts. I think it's, it's been the prayer of humanity since the very beginning, since, since war and hatred and conflict entered into the very heart of man. And here we are, how many generations later, still looking for the fulfillment of that prayer, trusting that one day true peace will come. We accept that, 
that for all the horrors of war and for all the lives that are lost, we would not have the liberties today if we didn't bravely engage in those battles against our enemies, those who want to take away those freedoms that were given to us by God. And thus, uh, even today, as we look in our own nation, we would not be that model of freedom that has made us uh, one where so, so many long to, to live that they would even risk their very lives to come here. And certainly, you know, we expect some loss in, in times of war, though uh, we're saddened to know exactly how many are lost. And we're saddened to know uh, that this has to be the cost. And so that is why uh, we honor our, our brothers and sisters with a prayerful dignity. But what, would it, what, what good would it be to, to call to mind the sacrifices of those of the past and honor them if we were not able to see a connection of them with us today. Because when we think of those whose lives were lost, we don't think of them simply as some vague memory of the past, nor, nor do we think of them as simply an icon of past ages. No, they and we are something more. The human soul is immortal and will live on long after the fra our fragile bodies are returned to the earth and long after wars and the threat of wars have ceased. Our souls, we pray, will live on in an eternity full of life and joy. And we can hope for that because that hope was passed down to us by those who went before us. We can believe and we can hope in that eternal reward of heaven because we have the freedom to learn it in our churches and we have the freedom to practice it in our homes because so many men and women have fought to preserve that freedom among so many others. They knew, as we know, that there is something much greater worth fighting for, something much greater worth preserving for the future. And they knew, as we know, that God is a powerful ally in that fight. And so there is rightfully on this day a great sense uh, of patriotism. And no doubt uh, the familiar songs uh, will be played in homes across the country, bringing a tear to the eyes of many veterans and non-veterans alike. My country tis of thee, America the beautiful, God bless America, the Star Spangled Banner. You know, and, and it's this last song in particular that so powerfully illustrates what we feel today. It's this song that, that proclaims why so many were willing to make the ultimate sacrifice. You now we look uh, to our flag, that, that, that striped banner with its field of stars, and we see not, not merely a pattern sewn into cloth, but we see a people united with common dreams and common desires for their families and their friends. We see a people who only want to live in the freedom to pursue everything that makes life good and worth living. And we see a people united under one who watches over us all. You know, and, and we're all familiar, certainly, with that powerful anthem, that star-spangled banner. And, you know, very often I, I will, will revisit that, that, that anthem and, and talk about the origins. And uh, that song was originally written back in 1814. And there were originally four verses. But it was about 50 years after that that a fifth verse was added. Uh, and that lyrics, the lyrics of uh, that verse are quite telling as to the mind and the heart of those patriots 200 years ago. You know, their values are, are very little changed from our own today. And, and so this is how that verse goes. And thus be it ever when free men shall stand between their loved home and the war's desolation, blessed with victory and peace, may the heaven rescued land Praise the power that hath made and preserved us a nation. Then conquer we must, when our cause it is just. And this be our motto, in God is our trust. And the star-spangled banner in triumph shall wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. Now, we, we still continue to fight to preserve our liberties. And above all, certainly that freedom to worship our God as we will that God from whom all good things come, which we know in recent years has been under so much attack. I think that anthem's tenor reflects very well what we hear reflected in the scriptures today. And that is that we have to dedicate ourselves 
to believing in something higher, to believing in something true and perfectly good. And that is, of course, our God. You know, just as the disciples said to Jesus, we believe. It was from that moment on their lives were changed. They were given the courage and the peace within their hearts uh, to be able to, in that openness, to receive the Holy Spirit. And they were willing to stand up for their beliefs, some of them even to die for their belief in Jesus. Likewise, there are those who come to believe in the principles and the freedoms that our Lord has blessed us with in our nation and are willing to stand up for them, even to fight for them and give their lives for them. That is why today we give, them, we give thanks for those who gave everything for that truth. And we trust that God is guarding them in the shelter of his arms. Today, even as we look forward to the future, we also look back. It's a day of remembrance and it's a day of prayer. So we won't forget those who are united to us by the bonds of grace and a common faith. Our hope for all things in this life and in the next is found in God alone. Without him we flounder, waiting for the impossible, but, but with God and for God we know all things are possible. And that's why we can take Jesus' words to heart that he says today to his disciples. He says, certainly in the world you will have trouble, but take courage, for I have conquered the world. My friends, we now come to our Father, uh, the Lord of all peoples. We ask him to protect our freedoms and the rights and the liberties of all citizens of our nation. For the one holy Catholic and apostolic church in our nation and in our world, that we may remain faithful to Jesus Christ and his teachings passed down to us through his apostles, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the nations of the world, that our country will help them to achieve or to maintain peace, freedom, justice, and prosperity. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our leaders, that they will be guided to act wisely for the good of all people, respecting and defending the rights of the unborn, the aged, the poor, and minorities. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who offer their lives in service to our country, without counting the cost. May they be protected and safeguarded by God's good grace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the souls of those men and women who gave their lives to defend and build this nation, that they may enjoy the reward of eternal life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And Father of all peoples, grant these prayers that we lift to you today for our beloved nation, assisted by the intercession of the Immaculate Mother of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, and God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, the fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
and pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O Lord, who gained for yourself a people by adoption through the one sacrifice offered once for all, bestow graciously on us, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace in your church. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for through him you brought us to the knowledge of your truth, so that by the bond of one faith and one baptism we might become his body. Through him you poured out your Holy Spirit among all the nations, so that in a wondrous manner he might prompt and engender unity in the diversity of your gifts dwelling within your adopted children, and filling and ruling the whole church. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. Holy, holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, 
we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Bernard, our Bishop, his assistant, Andrew, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us Behold, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
my friends, as we continue in this time of Eucharistic fasting, uh, we, we turn to our Lord Jesus Christ and we continue to express our desire to be united to him sacramentally to receive the most holy Eucharist. And so uh, at this time, we make a spiritual communion to express that deep longing within our hearts, trusting that Jesus will come to us uh, with his presence and his grace. Lord Jesus Christ, I believe that you are in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. As this reception of your Holy Communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about unity in your church. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. My friends, on this Memorial Day, as we remember and pray for all of the fallen men and women of our nation, uh, we, we ask our, our Blessed Virgin to be with them and to intercede on their behalf. Uh, for the reward of eternal life. And so let us pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. And may their souls and the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. And I pray that uh, on this Memorial Day, however you are spending it, uh, perhaps in, in ways a little bit different this year than, than others, uh, I, I pray that uh, it is safe, it is uh, healthy. I pray that uh, it is a time to uh, continue to uh, call upon our Lord and, and thank him for the freedoms given to us uh, in his grace. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Our closing hymn today uh, in the hymnal, if you have one at home, is number 731, America the Beautiful, number 731. Oh, beautiful for spacious skies, for amber waves of grain, for purple mountain majesties above the fruited plain, America, America, God shed his grace on thee, and crown thy good with brotherhood from
from sea to shining sea. O oh, beautiful for pilgrim feet, whose stern impassioned stress, a thoroughfare for freedom beat across the wilderness. America, America, God mend thine every flaw, confirm thy soul in self-control, thy liberty in law. O oh, beautiful for heroes brood in liberating strife, who more than self their country loved, and mercy more than life. Amen.